Hey guys, welcome back to the Broke Urban Farmer channel. I'm Scotty, and today I'm over at Tiffany and Lee's house, and we are making bacon barbecue meatloaf. I got this recipe from Constance over at Cosmopolitan Cornbread, her new website, Holton Skillet. And uh, she just launched this blog, and I wanted to check it out and give one of the recipes a try. So that's what we're gonna do today. So just a quick rundown. Uh, I'll have the full recipe of everything you need in there, but it's really, it's really simple. It's beef, um, fine almond flour, garlic powder, onion powder, Italian seasoning, black pepper, salt, two eggs, barbecue sauce, and bacon. Really simple. So to get things started, we're gonna start, we have the oven preheating, and uh, while it's preheating, we're getting all the ingredients mixed together. Okay, so at this point, I have the ground beef in a bowl, and I am whisking the eggs, adding in the spices, the flour, mixing it up really well. You don't want to overmix it. And then the eggs, and giving it a good final mix, just till everything is mixed together. And uh, once that is all mixed together, then we'll start um, loading it onto the tray here. We did spray the 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 grill tray there with Pam so that there's no extra sticking or anything like that. Since we're not using a traditional loaf pan, uh, we didn't want them to uh, get stuck too much on that. So once we go through and we form all the loaves, we're going to take the uh, barbecue sauce and start brushing it on. Uh, sorry, our loaves are a little uh, imperfect, but uh, this recipe should make eight loaves. Some of ours are a little bit bigger than what they probably should have been, so we only got six and a baby one in the back there. <laughs> so I'm just spreading around the barbecue sauce across the uh, different loaves. Once that's done, I'm going to grab the bacon here, and we're going to start to do a uh, basket weave pattern on the uh, loaves. I am not great at this, so you'll see me struggle, restart and restart <laughs> and try it over again. Um, I discovered that the bacon strips were too long, so I cut them in half to make it a little bit easier. And then once I got a few of them done here, uh, I just wasn't completely happy with the result. And so, um, my friend Tiffany, she's going to jump in here <laughs> and fix what I messed up. <laughs> and then she's going to finish it off for me. There we go. We had some extra bacon, so we just went ahead and threw it on top. It doesn't fit in with the pattern or anything like that. So there, it doesn't necessarily look pretty, but... We didn't want to waste bacon. Okay, so now we got the loaves wrapped in bacon and we had extra bacon, so we just threw it on top. So don't judge the basket weave because they've got X's on top. So now we're just going to put them in the oven for 55 minutes and we'll see you then. go with dinner is called apple shorla, which is like a German apple spritzer. We're going to Americanize it because that's what we in America like to do. And typically you would use apple juice and then a carbonated water. We're doing apple juice and 7-Up. <laughs> so, gotta have our soda. So, all it is is a really simple recipe. Get your glass, get your ice, and then it's just one cup of each, if you're trying to be precise. Otherwise, you can just pour it all together to kind of taste good. But for the sake of doing it correctly, um, 
All right, one cup of 7-Up and one cup of apple juice. Pour it over your drink. Pour it over the ice. Not your drink. It's all nice and mixed together. Cheers. Mm, that's delicious. is done it looks divine to go with it we also have our made from scratch mac and cheese and our made from scratch paturkers but hey we worked real hard on those bad boys all right we'll let you know how they taste the verdict is it's very delicious I'm gonna add some barbecue sauce on top as well. So with that, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.